Hello, dear friends. First, they know you. Then, they laugh at you. Then, they fight you. And then, you win, said Gandhi. Opinion piece. Quantum banking. Gold audit. Shock waves. Paradigm shift. Futuristic vision. Fraud demolition. Bank rank for gold. Changing the rules. Financial revolution. Quantum computing. Currency revaluation. Unforgivable payments. Global monetary crisis. Unprecedented volatility. Washington is panicking. Quantum financial system. Let's start. Quantum physics ensures unforgivable payments for the first time. Quantum banking is an emerging concept that combines quantum computing with traditional financial services. Although it is still in the early stages of development, it promises to revolutionize the banking industry by taking advantage, 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 by taking advantage of the unique capabilities of quantum computing to solve complex problems more efficiently than classical systems. The quantum financial system is a futuristic vision of the financial sector that integrates quantum technologies to transform the way financial data and transactions are managed, processed and protected. Although still in development, this concept promises to revolutionize the way we interact with money, streamlining and democratizing wealth generation while ensuring data privacy and integrity. The quantum financial system could be a game changer in banking, stock markets, cryptocurrencies and global economic stability. However, significant challenges remain, such as developing stable quantum hardware, compatibility with current systems and creating new regulations to protect the integrity of the financial system. Gisara's name makes Wall Street's elite nervous because if fully implemented, it would cripple profit generating systems that thrive on their debt. The foundations of the system are cracking and the shock waves are just beginning. This would be more than just legislation. It is a paradigm shift that challenges everything we know about economics and power structures. Growth. Significant growth in the adoption of quantum computing in the financial sector is expected. Some estimates suggest that industry spending on this technology will increase 233 fold by 2032. Major financial institutions such as Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, HSBC and Barclays are already forming teams to explore the advantages of quantum computing. Even 11 global banks are researching quantum technology applied to finance. There are many experts who believe that quantum technology in the banking sector would be a potential game changer, as quantum algorithms could be applied to problems related to value at risk calculations and volatility optimization of portfolios. For example, BBVA has explored the use of quantum algorithms to optimize investment portfolios. Goldman Sachs is investigating how quantum computing can improve the evaluation of financial derivatives. JP Morgan is working on the application of quantum for fraud detection and risk management. And IBM and Google are developing quantum hardware and software with applications in finance. The University of Burgos and the Technological Institute of Castilla y León in Spain have created the Quantum Computing Laboratory 
space that puts a quantum simulator at the service of the scientific community and companies with a new technology that avoids waiting lines and that will serve for the development of this key discipline for the new computing. Exchange rates. As of Friday, February 3, 2023, all Basel IV compliant banks have made available to citizens the new international exchange rates backed by gold and commodities, as required by the GSERA program. The world is preparing for a full gold audit, meaning they are repatriating gold they must have rented. Once audited, that gold could form the backbone of a new monetary system. This could signal a radical change in the status and value of the law. Basel IV compliant banks are expected to make public the new international exchange rates. All banks in the world have to comply with Basel IV, meaning their money must be backed by assets, and many banks have seen being consolidated or closed down entirely. Fiat money is backed by a country's government rather than a physical commodity or financial instrument. This means that most currencies and paper used around the world are fiat money. Economy Trump thinks there may not be as much debt as they say because of fraud. Trump changed the narrative. It's not about left versus right. It's about right versus wrong. As crimes are uncovered, people will see it clearly. Game over. Banks expand ties with cryptocurrencies to attract bits. Jerome Powell agrees to work with lawmakers to address crypto debunking. According to the Wall Street apes, citizens are reaching a breaking point with the IRS. Asia. Russia and India reduced the use of the law. 90% of direct transactions are done in national currencies. India officially rejects BRICS currency, calls it impossible. Shipping rates for Russian crude to India, such 20% amid, amid sanctions. Construction of coal-fired power plants in China is at a, its highest level in a decade despite the boom in renewable energy. Gold. Sinfu confirms a global currency crisis as China and Russia dump assets in favor of gold. A gold rush begins at the Bank of England. According to Joe Blocks, the pound is about to collapse. According to the Gold Telegram, Main Street talk is now of a revaluation of gold. Is a gold shortage looming? Why did 82 billion leave London before Trump's tariffs? Asks ITM Trading. The current gold market is characterized by unprecedented volatility and growing geopolitical influence. Crisis. According to Stansbury research, inflation and debt loom over the economy. According to Peter Schiff, stagflation, the Fed's worst nightmare, is becoming a reality. Former Wall Street manager Ed Down has written a new report called Danger of a Deep World Recession in 2025, which claims that the collapse is unavoidable this year. Would be, because it's personal opinion. What we are seeing is a complete reset of the entire world structure, says Jaime Carrasco. We are witnessing the first stages of a dismantling of the economic model established since the 80s. USA Trump's popularity soars 
as his wrecking crew exposes corruption, fraud and waste. A stunned and bewildered Europe calls an emergency meeting as Trump meet approach Putin, according to Sorja Fall. Kentucky, West Virginia and other nearby states have been negatively affected by flooding while an unprecedented Arctic wave is coming. The National Park Service has pledged to make 30% of its police force female by 2030. They boast about discriminating against whites and men. Elon Musk is now looking to audit Fort Knox, which supposedly holds America's gold. In the end, gold will destroy the Federal Reserve. Senator Ron Paul calls for first audit of Fort Knox gold in 50 years, taps Elon Musk for verification, according to Gate Gateway Bandits Jim Hoft. A federal judge just sided with Elon Musk and Doge, rejecting an effort to block them from accessing government information systems. X-22 report. Washington is in a panic. The swamp is being drained and people are moving out of the area. Criminals are looking for ways to hide their deeds. They are looking for lawyers. Trump reminds everyone that he is in a wartime he is a wartime president. Names Epstein files are right around the corner. Come someone explain why Malia Obama received two dot two million dollars from USAID. Angela Rayner loses it when Elon Musk reveals a secret on TV. Is Cash Paddle's appointment being delayed because of what he's about to reveal? Beatle struck just deleted everything on his ex account. Cash Paddle said Lisa Page and Peter Struck were texting each other before the 2016 election about how they would stop Trump from being elected. Oklahoma Governor Kevin Stitt says his Department of Mental Health has banned pronouns in email signatures and five employees have resigned. Grand Rapids Major David Lagrand says his city's police force is not in the business of enforcing immigration law. Federal Judge John Bates has ordered the Trump administration to reinstate websites that offer information about sex change operations and gender ideology. Judge Jack McConnell, who halted President Trump's temporary spending freeze, received over $100 million in government funding for his NGO, according to Jim Hoft of Gateway Pandit. According to the last refuge, the control and auditing of USAID accounts and the knowledge of the benefits that politicians and their families have obtained from them have given President Trump a unique position of influence over the Senate. Since the revelations began to come to light, opposition to Trump in the Senate has significantly decreased, which does not seem to be a coincidence. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.